Lesson 28 Bulk Updations In this chapter we'll discuss about the bulk updations menu. There are many options provided under bulk updations menu. In this chapter we'll discuss some of the options and the remaining options we'll discuss in our next chapter. Basically using bulk updations menu you can make updations in many masters at one go. Like bulk updations provide the option to update item prices, item discount, item multiple masters in one go. You can update balance sheet stock also and many such options. To use bulk updations menu we'll go to the administration menu and we'll click the bulk updations option. Here you can see many options are appearing. Some of the options we'll discuss in this chapter and the remaining options we'll discuss in the next chapter. So first option provided here is the update balance sheet stock. Using update balance sheet stock option you can update balance sheet stock of all the months in one go. Here you can specify the basis for updating balance sheet stock that is book stock or GP ratio. Book stock or book value here refers to the value that is calculated based upon the records entered in the books of accounts that are entered for the items. Or you can update balance sheet stock on the basis of GP ratio that is the gross profit divided by net sales. You can see on clicking the OK button Busy has updated stock for all the months. Next is master synchronization option. Using master synchronization option you can synchronize or coordinate masters of two financial year. On selecting this option Busy has shown a message that no other financial year exists. Master synchronization requires at least two financial year. So you can synchronize master only when you have two financial years. Concept of financial year we'll discuss in our upcoming chapter. So here as of now you cannot use this option. One thing here is that while using master synchronization option the financial year in which you are work is taken as the base financial year to synchronize the masters. Next is update master print name. Using this option you can update master's print name on the basis of the configuration specified in the master's configuration. On clicking this option first busy is asking that you want to update print name for account master item masters here we are selecting items option and then further a print name are to be updated for all items or group of items we have selected group of items and we have specified a group so all the items belonging to this particular group will be updated for masters print name as per the configuration specified in the masters configuration Next is merge masters option. Using merge masters option you can merge two masters. Here you can merge masters for items or accounts. We are selecting the item option. First is select source item that is the item which is to be merged and select the target item that is the item into which the source item is to be merged. Then is delete source item after merging data. If you specify yes in this option then the source item will be deleted once it is merged in the target item. So we have merged Whirlpool fridge to 50 liter item into the item Whirlpool to 50 liter refrigerator. Next option is delete unused master. Using this option you can delete unused master that is the masters which are not at all used in any transaction in the complete financial year. That is the masters which are not used in any transactions in the financial year, current financial year. Those masters will be deleted. You can select you want to delete account, item or material center masters like we have selected item options. So all the items or group of items you can specify the criteria accordingly. Next is update item tax category option. Using this option you can update tax category in item master. So first of all you need to specify that tax category is to be updated in all items, group of items or selected item and then you need to specify the tax category like we have specified here 5%. So 5% tax category will be updated in all the items. Next is update item critical levels. Using this option you can update critical levels in the items. Critical level here implies setting the minimum order, maximum order, reorder level stock and for how many number of days this stock is to be kept. So first you need to select item for updation that is one item, group of items or all items and then check consumption at a particular material center, group of material center, all material center. Critical level to be updated for a single material center or all material center. And then you need to specify the number of days to be picked from item master that is the number of days for critical levels as specified in the item master or as specified below that is you can specify the number of days here itself. So we have specified the number of maximum level, reorder level and minimum level days that is the days up to which the stock is to be kept. Then check consumption pattern for all vouchers or selected vouchers it's up to you. You can select consumption pattern at some of the vouchers or you can consider all vouchers for taking into account the consumption pattern of the items and then specify the date range at which the consumption pattern will be checked 
and based on all the criteria you have specified items critical level will be updated in item master along with the number of days next is update item price discount markup using this option you can update items prices discounts or markups here you can see first three options are provided price discount markup we are selecting the price option and then you need to specify you want to update prices for one item group of items all items or selected items we have selected the all items option then is field to be updated that is what do you want to update sale price purchase price minimum sale price mrp or self valuation price then the basis for updating the price that is you want to add certain price subtract certain price or you want to make it equal to some price then is select type that is percentage percentage inclusive or absolute we have chosen the percentage option and with respect to that is with respect to which price the prices are to be updated like here we have selected purchase price and percentage and we have specified 5% so this means purchase price plus 5% of purchase price will be equal to the sale price of the item you can specify the rounding off options also similarly you can update items discount or markup on selecting the discount option you can see different fields gets activated so you can accordingly select that you want to update sale discount purchase discount and again specify the criteria for updating the discount next is update item discount structure using this option you can update items discount structure in bulk if you remember we have specified discount structure with the item you can update that in all items group of items or selected item then discount structure to be updated for sales or purchase and then you need to select the required discount structure this discount structure will now be updated in all the items as we have selected the all items option Similar to update item discount structure is update item markup structure. Using this option you can update items markup structure in bulk. Again here you need to select for all items group of items or selected item and then you'll specify the required markup structure and this markup structure will be updated in all the items. So these are all the options we'll discuss in this chapter. Meaning options we'll discuss in our next chapter. At the end of the chapter we have provided certain exercise you can view the exercise on screen and attempt it hope after going through this chapter you would be able to easily use options provided under bulk updation menu thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel